Hello and welcome to Signature TV News Highlight for this Tuesday. I am Marvelous Obomana. The police in Adamawa State has denied an online report that Boko Haram insurgents and bandits attacked Dabna and Kwabri villages in Dugwaba district of Hong local government area, the hometown of the secretary to the government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa. The police spokesman in the state, DSP Suleiman Nguroje, said there was no truth in the report. Nguroje told newsmen that the police command had deployed anti-terrorism and anti-kidnapping squads, as well as undercover agents to the area. He said the police have received no report from the security operatives in the area so far. The South-South chapter of the Coalition of Northern Groups has threatened to stage protests if the federal government goes ahead with plans to withdraw fuel subsidy in 2022. This is contained in a statement signed by the group's coordinator, Alhaji Yakubu Aliyu, and made available to journalists in Kanu on Monday. The group said, if the federal government fails to heed to their demand, they will not hesitate to join in protesting with those who are also bitterly opposed to the pump price increase. Lagos State's single-day COVID-19 figure exceeded the 500 mark on Monday as 859 new infections were reported across the country. While the state accounted for 555 of the total figure, the remaining 304 cases were confirmed in 12 other states and the Federal Capital Territory FCT. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control NCDC disclosed this in a Facebook post on Tuesday while giving an update on the pandemic, saying two more deaths have been recorded. Other places where new infections were reported are FCT 57, Rivers 44, Play 2 43, Edo 41, Ondo 34, Kwara 23, Kanu 18, Ogun 16, Enugu 11, Oyo 6, Delta 5, Baochu 3, and Bayasa 3. The United States and Russia are set to hold much anticipated talks in January on European security and the Ukraine conflict after Moscow listed demands, including to end NATO's expansion. A spokesperson for the United States National Security Council who told newsmen on condition of anonymity that the talks with Russia will take place on January 10th said Moscow and NATO representatives are expected to meet January 12th, while Russia and the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, which includes the United States, will meet January 13th. The talks come after weeks of heightening tensions, with Washington accusing Russia of massing tens of thousands of troops around s Sophia Ukraine and plotting a winter invasion. French forward Kylian Mbappe has won the best men's player of the year at the Dubai Globe Soccer Awards on Monday. The 23-year-old Paris Saint-Germain PSG star scooped the prize in a ceremony at the Armani Hotel. He beat six-time winner Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, Mohamed Salah, Karim Benzema and Lewandowski to the award. Last season, Mbappe scored 27 to emerge as the highest goal scorer in League One although his form did not stop PSG from finishing as runner-ups to Lille. And that's the Signature TV news highlight. For details, visit www.signaturetv.org. On behalf of my producer, Chibweze Obi, I am Marvelous Obomana. Thanks for watching.